Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the April 2013 Grade 3-4 Contest, Question 11. So, the question is... Identical letters stand for identical digits, and different letters for different digits. Example, AB will be a two-digit number. Determine the value of the letters such that all three horizontal computations and all three vertical calculations are correct. Which of the following statements is correct? So, in this diagram, there are six calculations. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, when we have two digits beside each other, like A, B, right here, that means that A, B would have to be a two-digit number. So let's say AB was 37, for example. That means that A would have to be 3, and B would have to be 7. And then A would also be 3, for example, right here and here, and B would also have to be 7, wherever else B is. But that would only be if AB was 37. So now we have AB here, and we have AB. So since we know that they're the exact same digits beside each other, they must of course be the same number. So let's look at the top calculation. We have AB times A equals AB. So we have a number times a different number equals itself. So we know that A must equal 1. So we have AB times 1 equals AB, which makes sense. So now let's prove that A equals 1 by looking at the bottom calculation. So, we have D divided by D equals A. So, a number divided by itself must equal 1. So, we know that A equals 1. So, now let's look at this calculation right here. So, we know that AB minus D equals A is the same thing as having A plus D equals AB. So we know already that A is 1. So we have 1 plus a one-digit number is already a two-digit number. So we know that this one-digit number must be the biggest one-digit number there is, which is 9. So we would have 1 plus 9 equals 10. So not only did we find out that D is 9, we also found out that B must be 0. So now there are only four variables in this diagram. There's A, B, C, and D. And we already know A, B, and D. So all we want to find out now is C. So now we would look for a calculation with C in it. So here would be one. So let's look at this calculation. We have A plus C equals D, which is the same thing as having D minus A equals C. So we know that D is 9, and we know that A is 1. So we would have 9 minus 1 equals A. So that would be C. So we know C equals A. We can also prove that C equals A by looking at this calculation here, which is the exact same. So again, we know D is 9, A is 1, 9 minus 1 is 8. So we know that C is 8. So now we know all the variables. We know A is 1, B is 0, C is 8, and D is 9. So now let's look at the options available. The question is which of the following statements is correct? So let's look at option A. B equals 2. Well, this is false because we know that B is 0. Now let's look at option B. B equals 0. Well, we know this is correct because we've already found that out, that B equals 0. Now let's look at option C. C equals 9. Well, this is false because we know that C equals 8. 
Now let's look at option D. D equals 0. Well, this is false because we know that D is 9. Option E states D is 8. Well, this is false because we know that D is 9. Option F says A equals 0. Well, we know that A equals 1 and B equals 0. And now, finally, option G, which says none of the other options. Well, this is false because we know that option B is correct because it says B equals 0. So the answer is B. B equals 0. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caregroup.